Welcome to the channel Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Today's topic is Refraction, CBSC Physics Grade 10, Chapter 10, Light, Part 6. And in this topic, we will discuss about Refractive Index, Absolute Refractive Index, Laws of Refraction and Principle of Reversibility of Light. Before starting the video, if you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe and tap the bell button also to get the notifications. Can we start with an activity? For that, we need a glass tumbler, a spoon or a straight stick and some water also. Insert the straight stick in the glass tumbler as shown in the diagram. The stick is straight, it looks straight, right? Fill the tumbler almost with water. The stick appears to be broken at the interface of the two media, air and water. What do you mean by interface? Here you can see two medias, glass and air. In the previous case it was air and water, right? So, there is a line separating these two medias. Here you can see it in red color. This line which separates the two medias is known as the interface. So, interface of two transparent media means the line separating the two media. Here it is air and glass. Why the stick appears to be broken when partly immersed in water? For that, we should know the speciality of the medias through which the light travels. We see an object when reflected light from that object reaches our eyes. Here, air and water are two media through which light travels. Air is a rarer or lighter medium and water is a denser medium. Light travels faster in an optically rarer medium, whereas light is comparatively slow in an optically denser medium. Light coming from the part of the stick under water bends and moves away from the normal when it reaches the interface between air and water. This is because the speed of the light increases as it enters from water to air. Whereas light coming from the upper part of the stick reaches our eye directly without bending. And the stick appears as if it is broken. The phenomenon of change in the path of light when it enters from one medium to another is called refraction. This is the definition for refraction. What happens to the ray of light during refraction? When the ray of light travels from rarer to denser medium, for example from air to glass or from air to water, it slows down or its speed decreases and bends towards the normal. When the ray of light passes from a denser medium to a rarer medium, for example from water to air or from glass to air, its speed increases and bends away from the normal. Like we learned some terms in reflection, in refraction also some important terms are there. Incident ray, refracted ray, angle of incidence and angle of refraction. About normal we studied already. The angle formed between the incident ray and normal is called angle of incidence. The angle formed between refracted ray and normal is called angle of refraction. It is also called angle of emergence. It is represented by the letter R. 
same as the case of reflection of light, there are two laws of refraction of light. The first law states the incident ray, refracted ray and normal lie in the same plane. We know specifically which is incident ray and refracted ray. But about the normal we have to mention normal to the interface of the two transparent media at the point of incidence. Then this first law again it comes as the incident ray, refracted ray and normal to the interface of the two transparent media at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. If you feel difficulty in explaining this, just say the incident ray, refracted ray and normal lie in the same plane. The second law of refraction is also called Snell's law. It says that the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant. We know angle of incidence is represented by small letter i and angle of refraction is represented by small letter r. Then according to Snell's law, n is equal to sin a by sin r where n is a constant. This constant is known as refractive index. For all the rays of light, refractive index is the same even though we change the angle of incidence or angle of refraction because it is sin a by sin r. Refractive index is n is equal to sin a by sin r but this is only for the same pair of media. The value of refractive index will change if we change the media. For example, in air and water medium, you will get the same refractive index for a color of light. If you are changing the medium as air and glass, refractive index will be different. The first diagram here, the light enters from water to air. The first medium is water and the second medium is air. So the refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium, that means N21 is equal to refractive index of air with respect to water. Same way, the second diagram, the first medium is air, second medium is glass. So we say refractive index of glass with respect to air. That is refractive NGE. Refractive index of glass with respect to air. The first diagram, light enters from water to air. So the refractive index of uh, air with respect to water is equal to sin 20 divided by sin 45 because i is equal to 20 degree and r is equal to 45 degree and in second diagram light enters from air to glass if i is equal to 60 degree and r is equal to 30 degree then the refractive index of glass with respect to air is equal to sin 60 divided by sin 30. absolute refractive index is the refractive index of medium to with respect to air or vacuum. Thus, N21 is absolute refractive index of the second medium if the first two medium is air or vacuum. When we learned the good reflection we studied, if a ray of light parallel to the principal axis, after reflection will pass through the focus. If a ray of light is falling on the mirror through the focus, it will go parallel to the principal axis after reflection. Same way, in refraction also, the ray of light retraces its path. This is known as the principle of reversibility of light. So the principle of reversibility of light says that the ray of light will retrace its path after refraction or reflection. Thus, if I is equal to 60 degree and R is equal to 30 degree, the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium is N21. That is equal to here from uh, air to glass, if a ray of light is entering, refractive index of glass with respect to air is 
sin 60 divided by sin 30. And when it retraces its path, the ray of light will pass from glass to air. Then also the angle of incidence become 30 and angle of refraction become 60 degrees since it is retracing its path. So the refractive index of air with respect to glass is equal to sine 30 divided by sine 60. Thus, N21 is equal to reciprocal of N12 or N21 into N12 is equal to 1. This property is called principle of reversibility of light. Refractive index depends on the speed of light also. We learned uh, when the light enters from air to glass, the refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium. That means refractive index of glass with respect to air is equal to sin i by sin r. This, that is equal to velocity of light in air divided by velocity of glass or velocity of light in the first medium divided by velocity of light in the second medium. Thus, refractive index can be used to compare the optical density of the two media. If refractive index of a medium is more, its optical density is more compared to the other medium. And if the optical density is more, the speed of light is less in that medium. Remember that. Density of a substance is different from optical density. For example, kerosene and water, if you compare, kerosene's density is less than that of water and it will float in water, we know. But when we compare the optical density, optical density of ker kerosene is 1.44 and that of water is 1.33 only. That means light travels faster in water than in kerosene. Hope you understood the topic well. Application questions we will discuss in next video. If you have any doubt, give it in the comment box. I will reply. Now, if you did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe and tap the bell button also. Thank you.